Welcome, Welcome to, to Captured Music. music. I could be a millionaire if I had the money. I could own a mansion. No, I don't think I like that. And I could write a song that makes you laugh. Now that would be funny. You can tell all your friends in England that you like that But I've chosen aeroplanes and boats to come between us A line on two on paper wouldn't go amiss How is Worcestershire? Is it still the same between us? Do you still use television to get you out to sleep? Can you last another week? Does the system still leak? Have you found a man to man it? Oh, and by the way, how's your broken heart? Is that mended too? Welcome to uh, Captured Music with uh, This Wicked Tongue. How are you all today? Very good. Good, thanks. Excellent, excellent. Brilliant. Sweaty. Sweaty. Mm. Was, that was a, a good performance there. Did you uh, enjoy that? Yes. Yeah. It's very very, uh, very mm. energetic. You always so energetic on stage. Yeah, Probably I think more so. Yeah. so. You're doing a lot of festivals this summer? or? Yeah, yeah, we are doing yeah. quite a few. We're doing the Bearded Theory Festival in Derby. The Grand Finale Festival in Camber Sands, the Bridge Bash in Great Whitley, um, obviously the Worcester Music Festival because we're from Worcester, a couple of little ones as well. So that's what we really aim for anyway, is to do more mm -hmm. festivals this summer. So it's quite a busy summer then, do you do a lot of smaller gigs as well or do you mainly concentrate on the festivals at the moment? No, we gig all, all the time. We're gigging um, in pubs, in clubs, in music venues. Um, at just anywhere. We run an open mic night as well in Worcester on a Tuesday night. It's just gig nice. as much as we can. You should play in the jamming from last night. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Amazing. Shane was beatboxing, I'll make yeah, Shane. Yeah, I make Shane like beat, beatboxed and uh, no, it was it was really, really cool. Some of the keys. That's pretty cool. So did did you get, solo. Is that like a whole mix of just artists, anyone? Just anyone who yeah. wants to come. We've got and resident then, rapper, yeah. we? beatboxer. Yeah. We love the, the rappers. Just a big fun time, isn't it? It is a big fun time, yeah. <laughs> 
And so, um, what are your inspirations for your material? Like, how do you write your songs? Do you get together and jam, or does someone come with an idea? I think it varies. I think somebody could come to the table with an idea, and then um, everyone else will have their uh, nice, um, have their input to it, and then uh, take it from there. So I might have a riff, and then Ben might have an idea where the structure yeah. lies. And same with Hayden; he, he writes as well. So. What did what did generally write about? Do you have a common theme, or is it just? I don't think we ever have a common theme. It's just it's what the music suggest, feels like. You yeah. know, if it feels sad, we'll, we'll do something you know political or. Yeah. But then, if it's happy, we'll, we'll do something a bit more <laughs> yeah. summery and you know, just a bit more kind of not not too serious. Well, we could watch something on the news that day. Yeah, it might inspire I mean, us. Yeah. some of it's topical, isn't it? Some of it's yeah. like sort of a bit so, more serious. So um, does that mean you've got a lot of songs about the budget. <laughs> no, not that Student song. riots. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the intro yeah. of um, that song that we do. Yeah. yeah. So what? What? So uh, how did? Sorry. How did the band get together? How did you guys meet and form? Well, going back about maybe a year, a not even a year yet. Uh, we we met because. Um, I did some kind of festival and I met Hayden on yeah. one of his, um, he was organising a gig and um, I asked him and Sai whether they would record one of my solo songs for me and then someone approached me and said, you know, um, can you get a band together? So obviously I, I was so new to the music scene, I asked um, Sai and Hayden whether they'd be in my band um, along with a guy called James Allen and um, we were the first, This Wicked Town. Mm -hmm. um, James Allen left and we had another project called Ancient Addicts along side where Ben was the drummer yeah. so because James left a bit more ben, grungy, wasn't it? Bit yeah heavier. it was a bit heavier yeah. um, so Ben stepped into this wicked tongue and we kind of left Ancient Addicts we were too busy to do both so Ancient Addicts is still something that we work on but um, okay. this wicked tongue is the gigging um, band yeah, that we use working now. band mm -hmm. where, where does the name come from this wicked tongue because you're all quite nice people I'm oh, guessing thanks. it's not thanks. about <laughs> anyone <laughs> Guys. Tina's got a right mouth on her when she gets drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you Jack Daniels You've got such a wicked Dude. tongue, Tina. <laughs> oh, come on. You have to throw that in there. So I was looking through his iPod and uh, scrolled down to PJ Harvey and it was a, it, it's a song called This Wicked Tongue. Uh, great eyes, I love PJ. Yeah. Can you tell us about the Clifford T. Ward connection? Go on, yeah, on, yeah. yeah, basically, um, it was a, an, art, an artist that my mum was into and she played it to me like while I was in the womb, so... I've always kind of known nice, it. Nice. And then um, it was only a few years ago she played it again and I, I recognised it, I'd heard it before. And um, it just so happens I've got a friend who knows, uh, who used to know Clifford and has the publishing rights to all his work because he died about 10 years ago from MS. And uh, so I thought I'd, we'd do a, like a Green Day rocked version of it yeah. and then uh, see what people thought and uh, yeah. Yeah, we got some good, we, we stuck it on YouTube and got a lot mm. of positive feedback from yeah. it. And yeah, from hardcore fans as and well. It, and his widow yeah. as well, his widow. Yeah. His widow it. loves it. Yeah, yeah, Pat Ward. So hopefully that gets us a bit of fun. Um, Are you planning to release, release that or is it just simply yeah. a dedication? No, I think probably at one stage I think there will be a release, yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's stuff in the pipeline with that, yeah. with that song, so we just have to wait and see. Yeah. Okay. And I've... Uh, I've heard that um, your bass guitar has been to war. Can you uh, <laughs> yeah, explain It has been to war, this? yeah. Uh, where's, where's it been only? The, the Iran-Iraq war, was it? First, yeah, first, first Iran-Iraq war. 1981, war. 1981. It survived on a, where was it, on a, a, a bus or something? Yeah, it was. Some, 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 there was some sort of explosion. <laughs> there was no explosion. The, and the, the bus just, just blew up and this bass guitar flew in the air. And then Tina's mum just caught Rose it. Rose like a leaper. Yeah. G, G chord. <laughs> Um, so what, what does the uh, what does the future hold for for you guys? What's the plan? Touring, touring, albums. recording albums, yeah. just everything. Like we, us three are full time the music. So um, once Ben finishes his uni course, then it's going to go properly full time, mm -hmm. and then really try and make a go of things because we're all really really passionate about it, and yeah. that's all I want to do now. I know that's what we want to do for the rest of our lives now. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, uh, this week of tongue, for being on Captured. Uh, Cheers. Thank you. Best Cheers, of luck for the future. Nice Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Cool.
What?